Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the probability and statistics. Today we will discuss about how we can find the sufficient estimator with the help of Fisher Newman criteria. Myself Dr. Gar working in the School of Mathematics Thapar Institute India. So what is the content of this video is there we will firstly define what is the sufficient estimator what are the different method to find the sufficient estimator called as the factorization theorem and the fisher newman and the most important thing is we will discuss about the three step rule for finding the sufficient estimator and followed with the numerical examples so if if, uh, if you are watching this video first time you can simply uh, look at about the consistent muv unbiased theory of the estimator on the all of this in the channel name dr harish gar under the playlist theory of hypothesis so what is the sufficient estimator so as we discuss in the last video that any estimator t is said to be the sufficient estimator for the parameter theta if the conditional probability of the x given t is independent of the parameter then we can say this capital t is the sufficient estimator of theta now since if you apply this definition to find the sufficient estimator for any of the problem then it may take a lot of the computational step because you have to find the conditional probability so in order to simplify them we will see there are the two ways to find the sufficient estimator one is the factorization theorem and the fisher newman criteria this factorization theorem how we can find the sufficient with the help of factorization which we discuss already in our last video we can see here and now we will discuss in this today's lecture is fisher newman criteria so if you uh, quickly recall what is the difference between them you can see their difference in the one slide so what is that in the factorization theorem what we had discussed we start with a factor uh, we start with a likelihood function here and we can simplify it and try to express the function in the form of this if we are able to write the function l in the form of this then we can say t is the sufficient estimator of theta where g is the function of theta as well as x and h of x is independent of the theta on the other hand in this lecture that is the fisher newman criteria again we will start with the same l and we can try to again reach at this point but the difference here is the property of the g here you can see in the previous slide the property of the g is is a function which are dependent on the theta and the x so it can be of xi divided by theta it can be of like this or any of the form are there which relates to there but now here g is not be the function of the this is but the pdf of the statistics if i say this is my binomial so all of you know that this is the pdf of the binomial if i say this is my poisson distribution then all of you know that this is the P pmf of the poisson distribution and similarly if you want to find the exponential distribution then this is the exponential distribution and so on so our target is to find the pdf of the parameter t so how we can find them we will discuss this quickly in this three step rule what is the step number one is we can start with the l and we can simplify simplify it means we can simplify we can simply uh, do some calculation because it's a product of there and then we will try to resolve them we will try to find the pdf of these statistics because if it is given to you the capital t is my binomial then you can easily find the g if it is a, a normal distribution again you can find this but if it is not given then how you can find we will see and finally we can express this l in terms of this g so we uh, we will check that whether we can, we are able to write this l in terms of g then we can say that is here so if we are able to write l in terms of this where g is here then we can say the capital t is the sufficient estimator of theta otherwise not so look at that how we can solve them in the numerical examples so what is given to you you have some uniform distribution here you have to find the poisson distribution of this so if you clearly look about that uh, the P pdf of the uniform distribution is this because all of you know that what is the pdf of the bind of the uniform distribution when it lies between a to b that is 1 upon b minus a so what is the 1 upon b minus a is here now what is the step number 1 is you can start with the likelihood function so this is my step 1 now you can substitute the value of here so what is that this is nothing but my i is 1 1 by theta now it's a product of the n times so what is the answer of this will be this is nothing but here now can you write this function in terms of this by factorization theorem 
if we apply the factorization theorem so firstly what is the h of x is a function which are totally dependent on the x so i can consider the 1 into so i can take h of x is 1 so this is no problem so can you find g of this from here what is the g of this is a function which are dependent on the x and theta both so is the function which are dependent on the both no this is not be the g of this why because this is the function which are dependent only on the theta but independent of the t t means x so it means the factorization theorem is not applicable here so once the factorization theorem is not applicable we apply the uh, we apply the uh, fisher newman criteria so how we can apply the fisher newman criteria you can see this is not in the form of this so what you can do is since my domain is here this is here so whenever you want to apply the fisher newman criteria you can see that your target is always to the maximization of the l because likelihood always makes so when the l will be maximum l will be maximum when theta will be minimum so using this concept we can dis we can define the ordered statistics like here this is the ordered value we can see like here you you must know about the ordered statistics now in order to theta will be minimized so it means i can write here x n so it means when this will be minimum so since this is a greater than equal to it means this will be the maximum of them once it will be maximum then you will get the lower bound of this so therefore our target is to maximize x i that is x1 x2 and xn are there so we can take the maximum of this that is a capital t or small t that is a parameter of this so i can since this is a maximum so i can consider this as a n now our what is our target what is our target is our target is to find the pdf of this xn because now this is my statistics and once we are finding the pdf then we are able to write this l here now we can apply this step number 2 how you can find the pdf of this we all of you know that if it is a maximum or minimum you can find the pdf by using this formula what is the capital f is this is the cdf what is the small f is pdf now how you can find the cdf all of you know that cdf definition is here so what is that this is from minus infinity to x f of x into dx so what is the pdf of the x so this is my x pdf is my 1 by theta so we can substitute the value here because the lower bound is my 0 so that's why it's a 0 so this is 0 1 by theta is there so what is the answer of this is my x upon theta so this is the pdf of this is the cdf of this now we can substitute this value here what is the f of x is this so we can substitute the value here we can get here you can see that this is x of n so once you will substitute here it will be my x of this upon theta so you can substitute the value here you will get this so after simplify this is the now what is the step number third is your target is to express this l in terms of this so you can see l is my here now i want to write this l in terms of this so we can see this part we can this is that this part is independent of theta so we can multiply this and divide this so you can see our target is to express l in the form of this so we can multiply and divide by this part so you can see i can multiply this and divide by this so uh, is this in the form of this you can see this is a function which are totally dependent on the x so what is the meaning of that this is my hx this is the function what is that this is nothing but my g of t that is a pdf so therefore which is written in the form of hence we can say this is the pdf so by fisher newman criteria what is my statistics the, so the capital t that is xn that is maximization of x1 x2 xn is the sufficient estimator for the parameter this is the three step rule are there look at some more examples are there now consider this is the uh, bernoulli distribution you have to find the sufficient estimator of the check whether this is there or not all of you know that if it is a bernoulli distribution we can find this pmf or the pdf like here if you remember the last lecture we already discussed the same example with the help of the factorization theorem and we will see that this is the sufficient estimator and if you more detail you can see that which in the form of this by using the factorization theorem this is the sufficient but now how you can try to solve this with the help of the fisher newman criteria so what is the step one is we can start with the joint density function 
you can see that uh, this is a step you can find this is a joint density function again if you want to solve like this way this is the same thing xi of this i can solve for you here again so you can substitute the value of the fxi that is a this so it is a p of xi 1 minus p of 1 minus xi so since it is a product form so what you can written that this is nothing but here and because base are same so it can be written in the form of here so after the simplify you can see like here now what is the step number 2 is you have to define the pdf of the statistics t now how you find the pdf of this so since we know that xi is follow the bernoulli distribution so what is the sum of them all of obvious that sum of them will be the binomial distribution so once you will get the binomial distribution so what is the pdf of the binomial distribution this is the pdf of this now the since this is a pd this follows the binomial distribution so we can define the pdf of this as ncx p raised to power x so now this is my p x is there 1 minus n minus of x so you can see this is nothing but my summation of the xi because here is my binomial so now this is step number 2 now what we can do is we can express this l in terms of this here so what you can do you can simply multiply and divide by this part rest are same so step number 3 is we can express this l in terms of here so we can multiply and divide by this part in here so you can see this is a function which are totally dependent on the x you can write here as a summation of this you can write here as a summation of this so this is a function which are totally dependent on the x this is a function is called as the pdf this is a pdf so therefore which can be which is written in the form of this so by the fisher newman criteria this is also the sufficient estimator of p look at one more example here uh, xi is the normal with the pdf is given to you you have to find the sufficient estimator for theta you may see that the capital t is not given to you it's, it's just, it can be of uh, some product of any one so since uh, what is the step number 1 is you have to define this uh, likelihood function you can substitute the value of here in this expression and after the simplify you can see once you will uh, substitute the value here so since this is a product with respect to i so i can write here this again into this of this now what is that this is the product of n times so what is the product of this n times is nothing but here what is the product of this is nothing but here now what is the step number 2 is we have to define the statistics t now again if you want to apply the factorization theorem here it can it can't be applicable here because you can see this is this is applicable here this is a function of the x only is this function is dependent upon the theta and the x both no it means g is not be defined so therefore factorization theorem is not applicable here so we apply the fisher newman criteria in this for this example so how we can apply them again you can see in order to apply the uh, in, since my target is to maximize the l when it will be maximize l when this theta will be maximum so again we will consider the same ordered statistics because it it's again here so what you can do that since our target is to this so it like here so this will be maximum when it will be maximum when this will be minimum because once this will be minimum you will get the upper bound here so therefore we can define the ordered statistics as the in this uh, in the first example we see how we can find the maximum are there now how you find the sufficient since this is the minimum so we can define the pdf here as 1 minus instead of the only so again we can define the value of the f by using the cdf rule now how you can define that this is from minus infinity to x f of x of dx now but the lower bound is my zero so it can be set as a zero so we can substitute the value of this we can integrate them we will get this result now substitute this value here this is x1 y1 because it's a minimum so we can substitute the value we can get this expression so we can simplify them so since these are the same so it is the power is 1 it's n minus 1 so it can be written here we can open them summation it has written here so can you write this function also you can uh, separate them here now what is the step number 3 is you have to express l in terms of this so what you can see that this is this is there 
e raised to power summation n i is not be there so i have to multiply this n and this part and divided this into the l so which uh, now you can express this i can multiply and divide this part into this expression here so once you can write this now what is that this numerator is my this uh, what is that sorry uh, what is the g of r you can simplify them this and here is my g and what is the remaining part you can see this function is totally dependent on the x so this is my h of x so which is of the form of a so hence by the newman criteria we can say this is the sufficient estimator for this statistics so this is the simple three step rule you can find any of these statistics make sure that the factorization theorem is not applicable on here we will see on our next class what is the kramer how inequality for the estimators are there in our next class till then you can simply follow this link for more updated video best of luck students happy learning